Hello there guys and welcome to my Samsung Galaxy S6 Surge Plus ergonomics review. So I decided to focus just on ergonomics in this video because there's a lot to say about that particular matter. So what's up with this big guy? It's a big phone, it has a gigantic screen compared to other phones, even the regular S6 Edge here. The screen here is huge, it has nice edges, it's a big damn phone. phone. It has a nice form factor, look at that, it's really just big. But we're used to that size, look at the Note 4 for instance. But now there is one huge difference between the Edge and the Note 4. And no, it's not the edges, it is the backside. Look at the difference. Here on the Note 4 we have this fake leather back and here we have pure glass. I think it's Gorilla Glass 4. And you can guess which one is my favorite. It's definitely the Note 4 because this is made to handle one-handed. Like I'm used to flipping it up and down, up and down. You need that, believe me, when you are trying to get up you move your fingers around and when you go down you move your fingers around you just do that naturally and the fake leather back helps helps it stick to your hand it's not slippery at all and it's also a little bit curved here in the back and that just fits the human palm on the other hand if you hold the edge like this it definitely fits your palm Look at that, that edge is really just made for human hands. But unfortunately you have to hold it backwards. Yeah, this is backwards according to my idea of ergonomics. This is just an opinion though, you might enjoy this weird design. The edge is definitely cool and offers a lot of sexiness to that phone, it delivers a lot of prestige to that phone it definitely looks good but the annoying thing about it is that slippery back is the phone just won't fit in your hand it's not good according to its size or it's not good considering how big it is like the smaller one also has a slippery back but when you hold it in your hand you don't have to move it up and down unless you are gonna use that fingerprint lock but otherwise you can reach the top you can reach the button button without flipping it up and down or moving it with your fingers so the smaller edge is definitely a lot easier to handle when I just got it it was a little bit hard to get used to this little side that tiny side you see there's almost no side compared to my Note 4 and I came from that so it was a lot harder to grip on it. I dropped it a few times on my face, on my bed. A little bit weird and embarrassing, but it happens. It was just a weird thing to hold. The big guy here gives me exactly the same experience. It's really hard to handle for me. I don't know why. I'm used to big phones, but not the S6 Edge Plus. It just doesn't really fit my head. Maybe I'm gonna get used to it after using it as my main phone for a few weeks, but right now it doesn't seem like a good phone for small hand people. So if you have small hands, this is not the phone, you can see how big my hands are right now. I put them on the phone like that. My hands are actually just as long as the phone itself. Look at that. So you can measure your hands. If your hands are smaller than that screen, this phone is probably not something for you. Get the smaller one, you're not gonna lose a lot. They are equally good on many, many aspects. I'm definitely gonna do comparison though. And that was a quick little, little insight in the ergonomics of that big fat phone here. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.